What's up guys, welcome to another video and today we're going to be replacing and programming a new battery for this B8S4. Let's get it. So first thing first, um, if your car is already dead and you need to get the trunk open, you have to actually jump the car. So you need to get like a jumper box or something just to get enough juice to open the trunk. So how to do that, pop the hood. And once you pop the hood, you want to go ahead and reach back here, remove this cover. There's going to be a ter terminal right here used to jump it. So this is going to be the positive right here, and the negative or ground will be right here. Once you have enough juice, then you can go ahead and pump the trunk. So once you open the trunk, you get the cover off. I have the cover right over there with the new battery. But, uh... When you take it off, you're usually gonna have like a spare tire here. For this case, I don't I don't have one, which I need to get one, but I don't have a spare tire. But the next thing you're gonna get off is this cover, this plastic cover. So this is a big like screw right here. Spin it off, completely removed, you can put that one side, and then this whole cover basically comes right off, just like that. The next step you wanna do is to go ahead and remove this styrofoam right here. So you can actually just pull it upwards, just like that. And put that away as well. The next thing you wanna do is this right here, you wanna remove it. So it's kinda of like part of this bracket. So all you have to do is just pull it upwards and it comes right off. And I have to wiggle it out go kind of put that at the side put it right there so you can stay out of the way now they're gonna be a series of bolts you need to remove these are all 13s one two this is for the hold down and there's gonna be two back there you also got to remove bam bam so we're gonna go ahead and take that off now we got all four bolts off you can just simply lift this up and remove it the next bolt you want to get rid of as well is this 13 millimeter that is part of the battery hold down. You go ahead and take that off. The next step you want to do, go ahead and remove this plastic cover right here. It's no big deal. And also you want to remove these both terminals right here. So this is going to be a 10 millimeter. Um, just loosen that up and then you take the negative, then the positive. Once we got that off, pretty much this battery is free to remove. Take it off right now. As you can see, this is the uh, new battery. This is from Audi itself. This is an aftermarket. You could always use the aftermarket, but you got to be precise on the information when you code it. Um, because if you don't program it properly, you will end up um, killing this battery prematurely. While if you have the genuine one, they have all the information stacked up right here. So with the Audi battery, you're gonna have information that is right here where you need to program it. So you have all the information that you need, which is the part number, the vendor number, and the serial number. So once you have all that information, you wanna make sure you take note of it because you're gonna need it when you program it with the car. So the reason why you need to have that information in for your car is because even though you install the new battery in the car, it, the car doesn't know that it has a new battery so that the voltage that the um, alternator used to output to the battery may be too much for it. So once we have the new information that's in it, the car will know that, know that it has a new battery so it doesn't have to output that much voltage to it. Also, it reduce any strain or any issues with the alternator. So it's very important because if you put the wrong battery in or didn't program it, then you're just gonna end up damaging your alternator possibly and also you're gonna end up getting a new battery pretty soon. So that's why it's important. So we have the new battery inside and basically when you install it, you wanna slide it forward just for a little bit because there's a groove back there that kinda of keep it steady while you have the hole down that holds the other side. Once you do that, then you basically put everything back together. Bam. So we're done. So we put everything back together. Everything is nice and snug. Now, Let's get to the fun part. All right, so after you connect the OBD11 Pro, you wanna go ahead and put the car into the on position. Do not start it, so just do it with your foot off the brake. And it's on. 
and you basically gonna connect to your to your phone so once you are pretty much connected hit controls you're gonna scroll down until you find gateway once you find gateway go ahead hit that then you look for a long adaptation hit adaptation it's gonna be on channel 4 so 0 4 done and once it picks up it's gonna have you're gonna have the information that was installed before before you did I already I already installed a new one but um you're gonna go ahead and put in what you you take a photo of of the uh, part number uh, vendor information and serial number so once you do all that you put that in so in this case once you finish you put everything back in you click test then it's gonna say success I don't know if you can see it's so bright but it's gonna say success and then once you're done you're gonna this bottom right here is gonna be light up in green you slide all the way across and it's gonna it's gonna be a complete once you do that you go back and look inside to see if it's back the value has changed which in, in my case it did and once you do that you're good and the car is pretty much done man and you can start the car and boom that's it and that's pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching if you have any questions or concern about this go ahead and leave a comment down below and hit that like button and subscribe hit that notification bell as well so you can see more videos like this all right peace